telnet and ssh are two common ways to access network routers and switches both the access methods use vty vty is a virtual port and stands for virtual teletype vty is only used for inbound connection to devices by default vty that is telnet and ssh access to cisco routers is disabled to enable vty access we need to perform some configuration on the device before that let's understand some keyword associated with using vty generally we see line vty 0 space 4 for telnet or ssh access to device the values here represent number of simultaneous virtual connections this means five simultaneous virtual connections can occur or five virtual connection ports are allowed at times there may be a requirement for more connection ports hence administrators may configure line vty 0 space 15 which means up to 16 connection ports and this is the maximum allowed value this is a lab setup for vty that is telnet configuration r1 and r2 are directly connected with r1 interface fa0 by 0 assigned ip 192.168.12.1 while r2 interface is assigned ip 192.168.12.2 now Let's try to telnet R2 from R1. As we can see, when I try to telnet R2 with IP 192.168.12.2, I get error of password required but not set. So I need to configure telnet password on R2. I am already logged into R2 through console. So first I go into configuration mode of R2. by typing config t next type line vty 0 space 4 in fact i can also use 15 instead of 4 however for simplicity we'll keep it 4 after this telnet password of cisco is configured finally use login keyword to inform router to authenticate for telnet access now that password is set on r2 I again go back to R1 and try telnetting R2 IP 192.168.12.2. Next, password of Cisco is entered and then I am in user mode of R2 which is depicted by router name of R2 followed by a greater than sign. So, now we have successfully telnet into router R2 through line VTY.